It's your boy, the Louisiana Country Boy, coming at you live once more again. Also, what I need for you to do, sit back, relax, put on your headgear. Oh, my worthless two cents is about to put something in your ear. Oh, look at here, look at here, and the boy is here once more again. The old country boy is up on the scene. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It is an honor. It is a privilege. It is a blessing to be before you once more again. Look here. Y'all see the old boys up here by himself. So you know when I'm up here by myself, you know what I say. I won't be before you long. Look here. Tonight, it's, uh, you know, I... Man, good Lord, I tell you, we all have a past. We all come from somewhere. You know, it was brought to my attention, and uh, I don't want anybody to think that just because I come up on here and I, I talk and I smile and, and this, that, and the other, that I'm some squeaky clean fella that I've lived this life of ooh, 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 and, and, and I'm the, because I'm not. I'm not. I am, I'm no cleaner than nobody else. I am no better than nobody else. I'm not perfect. I ain't no Mr. Goody Two Shoes. I ain't none of that. I just made the conscious, the conscious choice to change my life. I made, have made in this old life, have made, any mistakes, we'll make some more. We'll make some more. You know, I, I just, I honestly want to just, just, whew, you know what I want to do? I'm going to tell y'all what I want to do. I'm going to have a little praise so maybe y'all understand it. Look here, Facebook, is that what they say? I don't own the rights to this. So if y'all could just bear with me for a quick, quick minute. See, this this right here will lead into what I'm going I'm to talk about. And I hope y'all can hear this. I want y'all to just listen to this for just a quick second, because this is my story. Yeah, Facebook block me. Don't block me, Facebook. I don't own the rights. Now I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all while I do why I do what I do and why I do it. Because if he don't do nothing else, I humble myself and I just want to tell him thank you. And see, I can't just I can't just sit up and, and tell him thank you with my words. I have to live this life. I have to walk it. See, I ain't perfect. I don't claim to be perfect. I got a trashy past like anybody else. I done been in mud and, and done wrong and done a lot of things. But what I did, what I did, what I did was I made a conscious decision that I was not going to allow my past to determine my future. I was not going to allow the things that I had done. I had done, I ain't said with nobody, what I had done, the life that I had lived, the things, I wasn't going to allow that to, to no longer hold me back and dictate my future, to keep circling back around, what they call it, keep spinning the block. I wasn't going to spin the block no more because when I humbled myself and I realized how good God had been to me, how he had taken me and saved me and brought me out of things. I do this. I'm true to this. 
I ain't perfect, but I'm true to this. I'm true to him. I am true to it, 100%. See, I have a fear of God. No, y'all, my man, what? I have a fear. I didn't have that before in my life. For the longest time, I just rolled. I got this, I'm this, I'm that, I can do this, I can do that. But when I started to get a relationship with him, see, let me tell you, I don't care about the things of this world, I really don't. I don't, I don't know if y'all know or not, I don't give two flips about the things of this world. Cars, money, houses, that don't mean nothing to me. I care about the things that are not tangible. I care about loyalty. I care about friendship. I care about loving people unconditionally. That's what I care about. Being there, supporting people. Things, things that you can't just put your hands on and you can't. See, God has been good to me. He's blessed me. Kept me. Kept me in my mess. And I was messy. Messy, 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 messy. Mess. I was a mess. Still fight with a lot of things, you know. But we all struggle with something. And I ain't want to sit up here and tell nobody, well, you ain't going to. We all. I said it. I said it before. Look at here. We all have a cross to battle. You might sit up here and act like you don't. You might sit up here and pretend like, oh, no, we all have a cross to bear. All of us, each and every one of us. But I tell you what, I trust, depend, and believe in the man upstairs because he has brought me too far. Well, mama, you say, I come too far to turn around. I can't turn back now. I can't turn back now. But I'm going to tell you something. When I ain't telling nobody to do what I do, I ain't telling nobody nothing. I'm just talking about this old boy right here. The truth is, is, is if you ever heard that story about the road is narrow, it is. Ain't a lot of people traveling that old road. A lot of people that you roll with, a lot of, a lot of friends, a lot of even family, they don't roll that road. So, so sometimes that road is narrow and it's lonely. But if you just keep on, if you just keep on that road, yeah, people fall off and, and, and you know, and damn, people look at you differently. Heck, they've been looking at me differently my whole life. So ain't nothing new for me. But when you travel that road, I'm telling you, when, for me, traveling the road, sometimes you, 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 <clears throat> you lose people that are close to you, that you thought would be on that road with you. But I am bound and determined to stay on this road. I'm going to stay on it. See, I'm going to tell you, if God don't do nothing else, he's done enough for me. He's allowed me to see some great days. He's allowed me to meet some wonderful people. He's allowed me to have wonderful children. He's allowed me to know that I can be a positive influence in their lives. I can be a positive example for them. Something I wasn't before, but he gave me that opportunity. So if he don't do nothing else, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that my children, my children, my children 
can be proud of their daddy. I'm grateful. I'm grateful that God has given me the opportunity to be a better man, to make that choice. I used to say a perfect man, a better man. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm going to keep on doing it. You know, I tell anybody, like I said, it ain't easy. It ain't easy. I can see why people would, would not choose it. Because the world tells you something, you know, man, there's some nice things out there in the world if that's what you want. But that ain't what I want. It's not what I want. That's what, it's not what I desire. Because God has given me something that this world could never give me. He's given me a peace that this world could never give me. He's given me joy that this world could never give me. Never. I've come too far and I just can't turn around. I'm not denying anything that I've ever done. I'm not denying my past, but guess what? I'm not that. I'm not that. I'm not that. And if anybody want to think that I'm that, then that's okay. Because I can't, I'm not here to convince people what I'm not by my words. I'm just here seeking his heart. I'm chasing his heart each and every day. Each and every day. Yeah, sometimes the going gets rough. Sometimes the road is tough. I ain't going to tell you, I ain't, ain't going to sit here and sugarcoat. It is. It does. But for me, I would rather, I would rather, I would rather have Jesus than silver and gold. That's me. That's me. I'm perfect. I ain't a Bible thumper and I just share my story. I share God's grace upon my life to tell others that it's not exclusive for me. It's not exclusive. It's not exclusive. Anybody can have it. Anybody. His grace. Let me tell you something. His grace is sufficient. I'm not just saying that because it's a cute catchphrase. I'm telling you, it really is. He has kept me. He has kept me. Kept me when I was in the streets. Kept me. Kept me when I was in the club. Kept me. Kept me when I was chasing women. Kept me. Should have been dead, sleeping in my grave. For my daddy told old death to behave. I'm telling you facts. I'm telling you facts. I'm telling you facts. But look, I just, uh, I told you I was just going to pop in and pop out. I just want you to know, when you look at me, I'm not perfect. I'm not some high and mighty person. I'm not some person that thinks I'm better than anybody else. I don't look down upon nobody because guess what? That was a time when I was in that day. And guess what? Still got dirt on my shoes. If y'all see more boots now, I'm going to stay dirty. Still. But I just made a choice to try to be better today than I was yesterday. I said, not perfect. Nowhere near, nowhere close. I'm human, just like everybody else. Make mistakes, just like everybody else. I just make better choices now. Not all of them, trust me. I've been married four times. All my choices ain't been good, so, uh, you know. But I, I just, 
I do the best that I can to make better choices, to seek his advice before making anything. Sometimes I don't, and them choices don't turn out right. I know for a fact for every choice, it's a consequence connected to it. And I've felt the wrath of many a consequence. But his grace, his grace has kept this fella right here. His grace, through heartache and pain, his grace, through loss, his grace, through starting over, his grace. Hmm. His grace. Being jobless, his grace. Carless, his grace. Homeless, his grace. His grace. His grace. His grace is what will allow me to openly say, I love everybody unconditionally. His grace. It's what allows me to forgive his grace. His grace. Because I'm telling you, if it wasn't for his grace, I would still be in the hall pen. It wasn't for his grace. If it wasn't for his grace, I'd still be running the street. If it wasn't for his grace, If it wasn't for his grace. If it wasn't for his grace, those that have turned their back on me, I would turn mine on nails. If it wasn't for his grace. Those that have scandalized my name, I would scandal back. But his grace. It wouldn't let me do it. And just like his grace wouldn't let me do wrong, his grace won't let me keep quiet. It won't let me shut up telling you how good he's been to me, his grace. And see, let me tell you something about his grace. Whether you know it or not, it is unmerited. What does that mean? It ain't even mine, ain't nothing I could do for it. Ain't nothing I could do for it. I couldn't run around here and turn over enough chairs for his grace. It is unmerited. He just gives it. At my lowest of lows, his grace has kept me. I'm sitting here before you because his grace has kept me. And all I say is, Blessings ain't exclusively, grace ain't exclusively for me. Please don't overlook it. I beg you, please don't overlook it. If you're right here today, if you can hear my voice, don't overlook, that's grace. That's grace. Grace is what woke us up this morning. I don't care about none of that other stuff. It wasn't a long clock. It's grace. I ain't perfect. I ain't near perfect. Not at all. Got many of faults. I do have stumbled many a times and will stumble again. I'm gonna say it over again because I don't want to get this, I want to get this through. Because there may be some people out there think like, oh well, I might fall. Yeah, you will. That's like I fell. And probably fall again. But his grace will lift you up if you want to get up. 
If you want to get up, if you want to do something different, if you want to change, God wasn't going to come in and make me do nothing. God wasn't going to take me out of the club. God wasn't going to take me out of the street. God wasn't going to take me, stop me from chasing women. God wasn't going to do that. I had to make the choice myself. This is what I want to do differently. Oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. He says, that's all. All you had to do was surrender. I know <laughs> it ain't easy to give up your old way of thinking. It ain't easy to give up your old way of doing things. It ain't easy. But I tell you, I wouldn't change this for nothing. Nothing in the world. For nothing in the world. Look, I'm on. I'm gonna get on up out here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can. My my baby just called me on Facetime, and I probably won't get to talk to her again tonight. I hope she gets to watch it, baby. I'm sorry, but I had to do what God wanted me to do. So I'm gonna play this one more time. I want y'all to hear just a little bit more of this, so you'll understand when you see this old boy. <laughs> My family was already asleep, and as my mind began to roll, I started to Oh, Facebook, I don't own the rights to this. Another blessing comes my way. All I need is one breath just to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Look here, I'm going to get on up out of y'all way. Um, you know, I'm going to tell you this if I say it after every show. If ain't nobody told you from the morning to the evening to the nighttime, if ain't nobody ever told you they love you, know that this old boy right here, I love him. And I'm not saying it because it's cute. I'm saying it because it's from the heart. And know this, that I love you unconditionally. Unconditionally. Don't mean you got to love me back. Don't mean you got to do nothing for me. I love you unconditionally. And guess what? There ain't nothing you can do about it. Y'all have a blessed night. I thank y'all so much.